subject for today to replace the <coughs> uh, cables on a soft top for two w208 car i already did the one side uh, now i'm going to show it i forgot to tape it so i'm going to show it on the second side uh, to get to it you open the top about like this you twist the handle I mean, you twist the handle, you open the top part like this, and you can get to the two millimeter screw, which holds, which holds the handle, and pull the handle out. Then you remove the trim, you remove four screws, and four clips. One, two, three, four. The cable is attached right here. Uh, after that, you remove two screws right here, which holds the headliner. Same thing on the other side. And then you remove it from here. Just pull it off and unclip first, the second and third bar. The cable goes from here to the third bar through those little pockets. You gotta put it through it through the pocket, like on this side, and it comes out over there. Uh, there's a couple of choices with the cables. Uh, you can either buy new ones from mercedes and put it in and uh, what i did uh, i repaired the cable uh, i'm gonna show it uh, i just welded the knot and then i just filed it down to the size so it fits through the hole over there uh, the spring is low one out. It's okay. I think I used maybe a four or five millimeter nut And that's about it uh, Okay, let me sneak this cable through and I'll show you how it's hooked up okay. Now that I got the cable through as you can see I'm gonna try to show it as much as I can over here it comes out of the square hole and there's a hole right there now at the end of it is a little plastic thing which holds this end in there you put it over the cable and you just stamp the thing together and then you push it in be careful you, you do not force it and that uh, this squares line up with the cutout in the rail I'm just gonna do it and then just show it the result okay I got this thing in here as you can see the slot Make sure it fits in. Everything should be done by hand. And uh, that's it uh, for this one. And after it's hooked up on the back, you just take it like this. You put it through the hole here. And you tie the knot. And don't forget to grease those things while you're in here on both hands. I'm gonna secure this piece. Uh, and then <coughs> in about the same position you can just clip 
the ceiling back to the rail rails and the edge of it just put it here uh, once I do all that I'll bring it back to show you and then the only thing is gonna be left is the cover here cover and the handle and that's it the job is gonna be done okay we got those lines clipped that's clipped and that's secured also the screws here are secured so is the other side now I'm gonna put the cover in the handle and uh, test it out one cable needs to be uh, replaced look how short that thing is keep some breaking at the end it's probably short good maybe two inches clo or close to it this is the part number for it for replacement okay i'm gonna put it in and see how it works out there's a little bit of tricky to put this handle back in here uh, the best way to do it is just as you see it lower it all the way down then you put then you put hold the handle by hand like this press it all the way down because this is spring loaded press it all the way down turn it 90 degrees while you're holding it down from above stick the pin in there I think it's like 2.5 or 3 millimeter pin uh, that's the only way this pin is going to fit in there when this piece is pressed all the way down uh, and then you just secure it and that's it and the top is fully operational now the cables are installed uh, actually let's try it out but I'm sure it'll work fine see if it closes or how it closes now we'll take the handle press it turn it pull it and close it and we're all done as you can see okay that's it for this repair I just got to clean up my fingerprints and that's